I was thinking we would pick up on this forbearance funnel idea. Annalisa, did you have anything you wanted to uh, kind of do today, agenda-wise? Touch on. Uh, if not, I'm gonna just get YouTube. I was thinking we would pick up. Oop, just get uh, our YouTube stream going here. If you are not already subscribed, just subscribe to the YouTube channel and sm 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 smash the like. Smash the button. <laughs> Um, I don't have anything in particular. I think just if anything, making sure people are aware of the open house app since those things are opening back up again and how it flows onto your dashboard as part of the, the process of, you know, the listing presentation, presenting the house and so forth. Yeah, we have, you know, at insiderealestate.com slash webinars, I think we have that tour that we did yeah. probably two weeks ago. So you guys, that's a good call out. You definitely want to go back through and check that out. Yeah, um, it's come up on a quite a, a few coachings lately, and I'm like, you know, let's just touch back on that. Where was that? That was, we had leveraging open houses, and then maybe we didn't put it in the YouTube stream, so we'll have to get it on there. It's definitely in Core Next Level in yeah. the members area, the app tour, but we should get that on the, I'll make sure it's in the main playlist here. Cool. Um, so bookmark that too, guys, insiderealestate.com slash webinars. It'll kind of jump you straight into this this uh, success strategies webinar series. Right. So um, the topic for today, what, what I want to go into is a continuation of what we did Tuesday. Um, we kind of touched on it briefly, but I had this idea about this forbearance funnel. Um, and this morning in the Facebook group, I just posted a video that I made. And then this video is also available to members of uh, Core Next Level. So you can see in the marketing templates section here, we've got a bunch of stuff at this point. But you can come in, you can grab the video. Uh, it's basically me just reading through bullet points that I kind of lifted and, and rewrote from that Nerd Wallet article we talked about the other day. Uh, and you can click up at the top right. It might be small on your screen, but you can always download these templates and get the raw file. So if you want to do your own intro or you want to edit it, you can do so. Uh, you can also just embed the YouTube version. So there's a link over to the YouTube video. Um, I'll share that with you guys who are watching live. Um, so you can just click the embed, right? Just click share embed if you want to put it in a blog post or something. And then the actual um, the actual slides, all you need to do, you click on that. And then if you want to edit the slides or change them, you just click make a copy here. You're not going to be able to edit my slides, but if right. you go file and then make a copy, you can pull it into your Google account. Um, and the idea with this, funnel i mean the, the the thinking and this is experimental i would say this is you know not guaranteed that it's going to work but at the very least it makes for interesting content in a blog post or on a social post or something but uh -huh. the idea here is that maybe we can get to listing leads uh through this angle um and you can see the last kind of idea or option for getting out of forbearance might be to just sell your house and i talk about some video you know <laughs> well you know you owe a bunch of money to the mortgage company um you might have a lot of equity you know let's let's talk that, that's right. you know and so it's a direct the call to action at the end almost leads the people down that path to real talk. talk yeah well <laughs> at least talk to you about what the house might be worth and whether it's yep. an option so, yeah so. and if they're so, talking to you it really opens up the door for potentially for something to happen because they're already expressing yeah. interest. So it's a good sign. Yeah. So what I was thinking we would do, let's, you know, we couldn't really do it on Tuesday. I kind of touched upon it, but now I've got the content. Uh, let's build a little funnel out. Let's kind of see if this will work. Um, so the steps I'm going to take is I'm just going to say them here. I didn't have time to make an outline, but the steps I'm going to take is I'm going to make a blog post with the content on it, make a landing page that offers the, um, the content. And then we're going to drive traffic to the content with Facebook ad, possibly direct mail. So, um, and that's, that's what we'll do here. Um, if you guys, you know, and also I just want to invite you guys, if you have any comments on the content here and I didn't get key points in, um, I just want to encourage you to let me know. I always feel nervous <laughs> making content that other people will use. So, but it is here for you to embed or to edit as you, as you might choose. Okay. So first step, let's get this onto a blog post. Okay. So yep. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the YouTube video right here. I'm going to click the little share icon underneath and I'm going to click the embed. Yep. Breakfast embed. Okay. Not mm -hmm. laughing. 
No, you're not gonna laugh. You're trying to discourage me from doing it. That's good. No, yeah. no, I just I'm always it's always like um a little bit of glee because I'm like, oh, what's gonna happen? What's up? What's next? Breakfast in bed. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go into KV Core. Um, I do need to get into my account. I'm in the wrong account as usual. Consistency is key. Yeah. So let's get into my account. <laughs> And then we will switch to the new KV Core in the next few weeks. You won't have to switch every time, hopefully. Uh, you can bookmark app.kvcore.com, right? And it should yes. take you straight there. Yep. Um, so if you don't want to have to click that little switch every time. Um, I'm going to now go to quick actions up at the top right, blog posts, and I'm going to add a post. If your mortgage is Let's I'm coming with a title. Some options for you if your mortgage is in, in four barons. Something like that, I guess. And then to embed the video, I'm gonna click on the source code button. It's these two little carrots. I'm gonna kind of do that. And then I'm gonna write a little bit before. Uh, if your mortgage is currently in forbearance. You do have some options. In the video below, we explore some um, um, some uh, ideas that you might negotiate with your current mortgage servicer, and also mention another what option, and also mention the option of possibly listing your house and selling it. So you would do this however you want. I like to kind of tease what's in the video. Just do a little quick. You don't have to write five paragraphs or anything, mm -hmm. but just a little bit. Um, the other thing you can do, uh, you could take my video. So I'm going to save this, right? We'll leave it like this. I'm going to kind of make it more readable. Just a tip, guys, you know, just modern copywriting. If you read sites, like uh, copyblogger.com, you know, you can get tips on kind of just legibility and stuff. So good practice is to kind of separate each sentence or have one or two sentences at the most per paragraph. Um, but there we go. Um, if you'd like, I'll do a call to action. There's the wife just on time. If you'd like to explore these options more detail, Feel free to use the contact form below. Post. Don't we have a contact form or something? I don't know. Some, something. So you can put your phone number, some kind of call to action. <clears throat> so I'm going to publish it now. And then I'm going to come across my biggest, one, my, one of my biggest pet peeves with KV Core. And that is that I can't just go to my blog right. post. I yeah. hope Ken is watching this. Ken, are you watching? He's gonna watch. I'm gonna I can make the it. clip and send it to him. I'm, I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna <laughs> lick him right to it. I brought this up a hundred times. So what I need to do is I need to go over to my website. <laughs> I need to go to my pressure, blog. Ken, if you're listening, pressure. yeah. Now, see, so you see what I got to do here. I got to go here. I got to find yeah. my blog. It's under your agent, and then I got to find a link to my post. Right. Now this is actually not the link. Because right. It'll That's just take a preview. You to the last, yeah, it's yeah. the last yeah. post. I got to go down here, and now the link will come up in my browser. Yep. Right here. Okay. So I need this link because this is going to be my thank you page for when I build a landing page or if I use a text code, whatever I use to generate this lead. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, one thing I'll mention is uh, you guys could use my video, which is, I intentionally made it so it was just some dude, me uh reading these options there's no branding or anything it's just and you could actually put another video above it that's you right that says right. hey you know here's if you're thinking about just basically what i wrote in the first paragraph if you're in forbearance don't worry it's not the end of the world there's some options for you watch the video below and get in touch with me so you could do kind of a bridge video or you can append a video to the front of the file um or uh what i'd really love to see you do is for you to just take this as inspiration and make your whole a whole video on your own <laughs> just, right. just take the actual ideas from the slides, right? So you don't have to do that work. Um, cool. So that's the first step, content. Um, and, and all good funnels and, and all good kind of real estate niches and growth systems, if you think about it, they all start with this content. We, we do a lot here in Next Level 
of turning the IDX data into content. When we do free list of starter homes, free list of foreclosures, starter condos, right? When we're doing that stuff, all we're really doing is we're taking content and dangling it as bait. Um, in this case, we're doing a little, we're getting a little more richer with our content. It's a little more something that is not easy for our competitors to duplicate. You know, it's unique. So I've got the, the URL. I'll just save that over here into a notepad link. We're gonna need it in a minute. Side. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a landing page that offers this content. Um, so we're going to go to lead engine, build landing page. My link is really easy to access now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my hashtag will do forbearance. So I'll know it's forbearance lead. Uh, watch the video. My URL after login is that that blog post link, which I'm just pasting here. My background, I'm going to use this one. I love this agent recruiting one. It's actually I do too. real estate. It's just anything real estate related, right? Um, free. Uh, so now we got to get the headline, and the headline's a little tricky. So. Um, Five, five options you might have. Help me out, guys, for ending mm -hmm. your mortgage forbearance. Happily. <laughs> it's happily bad word. Uh, with as little stresses. I'll, I'll just do this with as little stress as possible. And are we going to call this a training or a free? Training. free tips yeah or, you know it has to be something like it's quick and easy training sounds like a chore sometimes depending on you know to end your mortgage yeah i'm uh, you you actually helped me with that tips thing because yeah. the free tips I'm, I'm thinking back to just uh headline writing formula and anything mm -hmm. to do is good formula how to end your mortgage forbearance with as little stress and financial pain as possible. So right. people we know are motivated uh, toward uh, positivity, like uh, toward reward, mm -hmm. good things, and are also motivated by avoiding pain. Right. So with as little stress and financial pain as possible, and we're giving them a how-to. So this headline should be fundamentally pretty good from a, from a marketing standpoint. Good hook. Yep. Uh, five solid ideas that free video, free trip, free video. Shows. I, I, I'm tempted to do reveals, but I always feel that feels so hypey to me. <laughs> video shows, doesn't it? It feels like a headline. Free video shows uh, five solid options. That could... Just five, five solid options that would help you end your forbearance or something like that. Kick your yeah, forbearance I... to the curb. <laughs> something like that. So, okay, so that, I think I'm, I'm okay with this. So watch the video now, or so it's either watch the video, like do the thing you're gonna do or end your forbearance, you know, something like that, the act, the result that they're gonna get. So I'm just gonna do watch the video now. Might need to play with this to get it to work. As I said before, guys, full disclosure, I don't know if this is gonna convert or not, but it, it should be close to being something um, that'll work. Uh, if you enter your cell number, you'll call, to discuss, we'll text you to set up a time to discuss your options with you. Okay, just straight up. This way, if somebody does give you your cell number, you know they're pretty motivated. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with this. I think I'm I'm happy with it. Did so you assign the lead type? Lead type. Ooh, good good call. Lead type seller. Yeah. Right. Yep. Save. Okay. Remember, you, KV Core doesn't yet save the URL, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it in my uh, bookmarks list. Yeah, bookmark been, it and I've, save it. Yeah, it's it's buried here. Here it is, landing pages. I've been saving too much stuff. I got to clean up my bookmarks. How do I do it? How do I do it? Uh, uh, uh. Star, click the star, man. You're going the wrong way. You're you're going the hard way about it. Here. Oh, you can click star. That's right. Yeah, here. click your star and then add it. I'm going to get rid of Hiromi Hoso. Hoso. What are you, new? What's happening here? Here, little, I was going to get rid of this, but 
my uh this is total tangent you guys know if we do this we get a little add sometimes oh where'd the squirrel um, go i'm just gonna share this with everybody <laughs> it's it's wonderful if you guys are listening and you've heard this before we're gonna share some music but i gotta find the chat now here it is my son's listening to like Japanese smooth soft rock from the late seventies. He's a, he's truly a weirdo, but he shared this oh. with me, and it's it's the best background music ever. It, it'll total melt, totally melt you out. Okay, so I got that out of my bookmarks bar. <laughs> wow. Kind of okay, all right. Let's get back to work. Okay, so we've got our landing page right here. We've got the content. So when somebody opts into this, right, they're going to go over to this blog post. I mean, you might want to my... post the video with it since it's relaxing and then they can have less stress. I could have done that. We could have done yeah. a video yeah. lead page and had the Japanese yeah. jazz music, yes. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, we've got our blog post. So they're going to opt in. They're going to land here. They're going to have the option to search for properties on the right. They're going to see my, my picture. Uh, they're going to be on my KV course site. So we're, do we're doing good here, right? Okay. Now the next step is to promote this, is to get traffic to it. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and run a Facebook ad for it right now. Um, I also am wondering if if this is might be a good thing for direct mail. If you do a, an every door direct or a thanks.io or something postcard campaign that has people scan a QR code to get the five steps. Because if they're in forbearance, it's probably on their mind. You, you might have a good chance of getting scanned. Uh, so just a thought. So let's go ahead and do Facebook. Any questions, Annalisa? I know I've been just kind of talking. I haven't seen any questions come in via the Next Level group. And thanks again, everyone, for being here. And I don't have any on YouTube or Facebook yet, although we do have people watching. So hello, everyone. And hello, Ken, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a comment. Local lenders from Dennis don't seem to understand how a home sale, which is a forbearance with selling clothes. You know, I, that's a good point. I think we're going to, we might be gearing up for like, that same nightmare that was the short sale stuff, right? Remember when we were mm -hmm. calling the banks and it took like four months to get a re reply? Right. Um, let's hope that they they have systems in place for next. Right? Well, I worked at Wells Fargo at the time. So let me just tell you, they do have systems in place now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wells Fargo. So were you, you, you were part of the class action suit, right? You were- um, No, was I, was, I was a, a long, a long, uh, long-term collector. So if it was six months or more out, I would find you, but I was very nice and had a good reputation for helping people. So Killed them with know. kindness. I did. Yeah. And that's what, that's what, at the end of the day, that's what matters. Yeah. But we, Dennis, this is a good point. We might be coming up. Uh, there might be an adjustment period where some servicers just don't really have their ducks in a row on, with how to handle, because they're going to, I mean, it's going to happen fast and yeah, it I feel is. bad because they don't really have any certainty about what the government's going to do, right? There's that wild card that the government might step in and who knows. So, yeah, I think, but in all of this, guys, I think there's an opportunity for us to be of service. And that's where, yes. you know, that's one of the things um, that opportunity is, is an opportunity for more business, opportunity to be of service. Okay, so let's create an ad. I'm going to click create in Facebook. I'm going to go to uh, just build a simple traffic campaign and click the middle button here. Click continue. Um, we're going to call this forbearance options. Now, short sale, uh, loan modification, some of this stuff, I think back in the day, Facebook might still be pretty sensitive about. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're on to forbearance yet. So there's a chance this ad could get turned down just because we mentioned the word forbearance. Um, and that's why in the back of my head, I'm thinking offline channels like direct mail, newspaper ads, things like that, where, where they're not as kind of overreactive to real estate as Facebook has become. So I'm going to check housing as my special category. We're going to give it a shot. I'm going to leave these options as is. Ad set name, well, we're just going to pick our county or our city, whatever we we'll call it that. We'll set the daily budget to 20. We're going to go down here to locations. I need to choose my location. Come on, pop up. There we go. Uh, and then I am going to do people living in this location because I don't want people who are just traveling here. It's, you know, I'm not trying to list their houses. All of this looks okay. We'll leave it as is. Instagram, we have our Instagram account linked. And then um, now it's time to add the media. Um, so 
let's see. Let's see if we can get an image that's related to mortgage forbearance. I'm just curious what's out there. Use the Creative Commons. See if there's something. Yeah, there. right. So tools, usage rights, Creative Commons. I don't know if we're going to have much luck here. Yeah. I could do four bears. You could do four bears. <laughs> Let's do, can we just have a little fun? Let's do yes. it. Yes. We, we might make for a good ad. So I'm going to take this. And if you're going to target Gen X, use the Care Bears. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. Is this a good image? All right, we're gonna have a little fun. We got time. We're gonna go into uh, Google Draw. I don't ever know what's gonna be on my, okay, nothing bad. It's in my canvas. Sometimes I send jokes to people and it's not suitable. All right, here we go. That Google Draw is such a handy tool to use. I'll do. Should I do four variants <laughs> options? Yeah. yeah. Should we not be joking about this? I, of maybe course. Not. Uh, I mean, right. you want people to be less stressed, right? So you want to engage them. And the highest level of engage in marketing is play. So if you can get people playing with the idea of doing something, that's a high level of engagement. All right. So we're going to do that. This, this might bomb. I might get somebody who said, hey, it's not funny. Ha ha. Whatever. Four <laughs> options. Guys, use whatever image you think is appropriate. I may go back and change this. I'm you expecting. Won't. Okay. Well, I won't, but I, I'm expecting a little, it's a little insensitive, I think. But let's have fun. All right. It's not too insensitive. It's cute, right? Yes. It's cute. All right. All right. 424. So I use generally two by one on the image size. Um, I like to make the videos as you guys have seen us do a bunch of times. The video ads, but in this case, we'll just do it. Use a simple image. Should I do the forbearance like that, or just spell forbearance? I'm gonna spell forbearance. I feel like I'm trying too hard to make. You know, the, the enemy. A lot of people in their marketing try to be too clever, and it, it, it blows it, up. Yeah, it goes over the head. Yeah. So forbearance. Did I spell it right? Did I spell it right? Yes, you did. Thank you. All right, now we'll do two by one. I'm using light shot screenshot, by the way, to just draw this little square here. Get it to 800 by 400 or so. Okay. This is kind of fun. It, the, somebody might shake their head. It's a pattern interrupt. What do the bears have to do with anything? Oh, I get it. And it, it's just right. fun. It's a little less... I won't worry about the, as much as I thought I needed to worry about the insensitivity there. All right, so. I'm overthinking it, man. Yeah, I'm overthinking it. All right, so here we go. And then for our ad copy, once this loads up, a safety, the safest thing to do is pretty much just mirror what you wrote on your landing page for the actual ad copy. So if we go back here, It's just taking a minute to load. Come on, Facebooks. Keep the Jeopardy music. I'm gonna get you a soundboard, Annalisa. <laughs> so, so you I want just... the I want all the, the sound effects from the um the price is right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what? All right. It should not take that long for an image to load. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Free video shows you, free video. Watch the video now. Mortgage for parents. Large forbearance options for you. I'm going to try to select the image one more time. Quite a crowd today. 
I'm recovering from sun. It's been super sunny here and we're not used to that. I'm used to being a mole person in the dark and the rain in Washington state. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and your hustle sauce cam, that's something a buddy and I were doing. We did like a series of videos. Uh, yeah, it's actually, I'll say it's pretty good. You guys can, it's relevant. It's just general marketing stuff. I think I have the link at hustlesauce.info. Mm-hmm. Check it out. I'll Tasty. plug it. We didn't really do much with it, but we did like 10 YouTube and podcast episodes about uh, launching a digital uh, thing. And, and some of what's in there would be relevant to building funnels for real estate. So if you guys want to check it out. Wow, Annalisa, you see this? The image won't load for me. And in the interest of just kind of Fine. getting this done, I'm going to uh, just choose an older image of my county. And I'm going to work on getting that bear loaded up later afterwards. It might be a sign. Might be. It doesn't want the four bears on there. So the bears, the four bears. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get our landing page link now. I got to paste that in. It's still only showing me in my preview, not the image, but there it is. Here we go. Facebook's having some issues. Yeah. So I'll change out that image after, but that's pretty straightforward, right, guys? The, the, the copy in the ad is just the headline, basically. Um, I'll do better with the image. You know, ideally, you do a video of yourself talking to people, mm -hmm. you know, empathizing. Hey, if you're in forbearance, you've got some ideas, come on over and check out check out these ideas. You could do a video ad. Um, but the mechanics of getting the ad run is pretty simple. You just click the traffic option. You go through, you fill out the, the stuff in the Facebook wizard, and you can have an ad live pretty quick. Um, I will take a minute to just let's go into thanks.io and just kind of play with what that would look like there if you were sending direct mail. Did you go in via the marketplace or how did you get there? Well, I'm just going directly in. Um, okay. <laughs> but through marketplace, you can create a thanks.io account if you want. Okay. Um, but it doesn't matter, you know, any direct mail that you want to use. I'm going to click send now. I'll do a postcard. Um, I'm going to upload that same image of the bears just for speed's sake. Yeah. For Barron's options. So it didn't fit great. So I might want to go into Canva, which is tied to thanks.io, and do that. But I don't want to um, and time get too distracted right now. on the creative yeah. now. And then the postcard could be like, if you or someone you know happens to be so, you know, I'm not, I'm not, is in mortgage forbearance, uh, is in forbearance with your mortgage. If you happen to be in forbearance with your mortgage, you do have options. Scan the code. Scan the code at the top right of this page to watch a an informative video. Now you might find you probably end your forbearance. I'm just going to do it like that. And then I'll just put name. And then the QR code, it'll add a QR code scan here to the link. So like this. Now, the advantage here of using the QR code is that you'll actually get an email if somebody scans it. So you'll know what address they were at when they scanned it. That's really cool. <clears throat> yeah. So I need a better image on the front, um, but save and continue. And then the other awesome thing you could do is you can click the little buy leads option here and you can target individuals and you can do it based on their mortgage. Yeah, that farming tool in there is pretty slick. Yeah, so. Tomography, and then you could do uh, length of residence, homeowner or renter. 
homeowner. You can do it based on income. I thought that there was a mortgage option in here. I'll try to find it real quick. Home purchase price, estimated home value, estimated credit, years since home purchase, loan to, it was the loan to value if you wanted to do that. But, you know, so you can, you can do it by credit rating, all this other stuff in there, home value. And then this will find you, build you a list. Puzzling to me though, that it's not finding any as it usually does. Let's just see. What did I do? Well, I'm gonna have to look into this. Uh, very strange. I think it's taking exception to the actual name, the way I spelled the city. So yeah. I'm just gonna try to pick a zip code. Yeah, that that works better. Okay, that makes sense. Then I can I do it. I think we know a guy who can get it fixed. Yeah. So length of residence. So you can do it based on length of residence. Maybe you know if they've been there five years, they might have some equity, they might have more options, whatever you want to do. And then you can add the the uh, the list to thanks.io and then you can go ahead and continue and send. Uh, you can also just use the map and just drop a pin and do that and just send. Um, but again, when they get the card, it's basically going to have them scan to go over to the landing page to opt in. Um, and you're going to know which address it was that did the scan. So you can do some targeted follow-up. So you have uh, an online method with Facebook ads. You have an off offline method with cards right there. And this could be something you could even add as a custom text code on any of your social media posts, uh, as well as your business cards, flyers, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, you could you could definitely use. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Let's go to all marketing. Did I do it wrong again? I think I did. Is it on the lead? What are you trying to do? A uh, call capture. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead so, engine. call capture. You know, our code might be end forbearance, <clears throat> and then hi. Here's that link to the forbearance info and you can either link them to the landing page and make them give you the email at that right. point or you could just send them straight to the blog post yeah so like that and our, you can put a hashtag in there and remember when you're building the tags you do not need to put that character in there just the word okay. so now you can advertise that the text code and then your final step in all funnels will be to plug in some KB Core automation. So I might just go and build a quick smart campaign, which I don't think I'm going to do now. We've done a ton with smart campaigns lately. You guys are, you get the point, but you just, you know, you, you might just do one or two emails that just say, hey, thanks uh, for requesting the forbearance info. Uh, are you in forbearance right now? That would kind of be the template I would I would use, I think. Mm -hmm. in uh, so there we have it. I'm kind of a full funnel using KV Core designed to hopefully generate listing leads. Uh, might be expensive to get this lead, but it might be really, really valuable. What's everybody think? Any feedback? I haven't seen any comments uh, come through yet regarding, except for what uh, was asked about the hustle sauce and lenders maybe not knowing how to define or work with those types of con, you know, uh, people. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was in reference to just the name of my, Google Drive Canvas. This little hack, I keep the the actual Google Draw just in a bookmark, so you can just go back and work on stuff quick. Yep. Yeah. And I linked everyone to the Google Draw too in our chat. So these leads again, maybe I, maybe I got a little lazy there at the end. You know, these leads will come in as with the hashtag forbearance. So adding the campaigns. So we have time. I'll click add new campaign. Hashtag is. Oh, I keep spelling it. If it was the number four, then Barons. That'd be way easier. Or Baron Ants. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And I've just set up a rule. I said, hey, fire it when that hashtag comes in. And then I'm going to, I'll add an initial email. 
So I'll go to templates, add template. Of course, you can, if you have core video, you can record a video. Forbearance. Your mortgage or parents options. And then you're just going to kind of give them the thing. Hi. Uh, thanks for checking out the info about mortgage or parents options. You can click here to go back to the video anytime. So that would again link to my blog post. And we'll just highlight like that, click the chain. In the meantime, if you have any, in the meantime, just curious, are you currently in forbearance or do you know someone who is? You could do it like that, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. And then I just go back to the campaign and I would just attach that email. Someone's asking, would the term upside down be the same as forbearance? Um, if Yeah, I think upside down was like when your the amount owed on your uh, mortgage was more than the house is worth. Yeah, more than the house is worth. But you could be in forbearance and be upside down. I think they could be used, but I don't think they're used interchangeably, but they could be together. Now you could be in forbearance and not be upside down. And those are the people that you really want. Those are the best leads because you might get somebody who's in forbearance. They don't have the income to get out of forbearance by, by working out a loan modification or, or changing terms, but they have equity. So they're not upside down. So you've got, you know, selling the house might be a good option for them, especially right now when things are peaking. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's where, that's where I see this as a path to maybe picking up a few listings here and there. Um, forbearance. Email, parents' initial email, run immediately. So when they opt in, they're basically just going to get an email that says thanks, starts the conversation, sends them the link in case they didn't have time, they got distracted. Um, and then I can add maybe a task for myself, you know, check in or try to call it or whatever. It's campaign active. And now the funnel is built. Yep. You've got your A to Z going. Yep. Um, what I might do on day two is an email that offers to check the house value. I think we have a template for that. Just curious, do you own? Oh, uh, that one was related to new construction homes. So I would do an email that's like, oh, just just curious, where do you live? You know, thanks for thanks for grabbing the mortgage forbearance info. Yeah, just curious, uh, what's your where do you live in in Pinellas County? What's your address? That would be like a day two. Mm -hmm. Then you can run it through Dash CMA, get some good comparables to what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, you can offer to do one. You could also, on uh, day two, say, hey, one of the ideas was listing and selling your house. You know, if you'd mm -hmm. like a free report that tells you what, you know, what you're asking myself for, let me know. So, yeah, guys, that's the, uh, we just kind of built one of our next level growth systems. If you think about it, it has all the components that we talk about for next level. Um, remember, we have our, our growth system section, if we go to the dashboard, growth system builder, um, we have a traffic source, we have um, traffic source, we have a lead capture point, which is our landing page. You could have also done this for the Facebook lead form. Um, our traffic source is the Facebook ad, our uh, automated smart campaign on the follow-up causes uh, conversations. We also kind of have a bridge video in there because we deliver the content and have a video, uh, you know, how to use this, this training right here, how to use bridge pages to increase conversions. We kind of do that with the video, um, mm -hmm. but we can do it even better if, if we do a unique video of us on camera on this page. Cool. Anything else anybody else wants us to uh, address today while we're live? <laughs> I haven't seen anything else come in question-wise on other tools or items. 
now is the time, guys. Dan, oh, Dan, hey, Dan. I just talked with him this morning. He's like trying to lay low. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, very cool. Um, I did post yesterday. There's still a lot going on in the group. I did post a video about how to create property boost specific smart campaigns. That just, was really good. Yeah, it's just I got the music in there. I've been playing with the new music in the video, <laughs> in the video background videos. Just so you know, guys, you can add music to screencast o matic and it really does punch up your videos. Yeah. I'm really here. Here's the mortgage forbearance one. They have nice uh, tools options. with music and, and the images. Yeah. So if I click edit here, just to show you over to the right, you check off music and they have lots, they have lots of stuff in the library. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can, so if we click the little carrot here, they have all these different categories, they have lots of good options. And then this little kind of bar here, I know it's small on your screen. You can kind of set your voice volume and then this thing called ducking where basically the music goes away while you're talking and then it comes back in blank spaces it's really nice um i think for the i still think for the money screencast o matic it's just it's just awesome for a video heck of a edit. deal yeah yeah cool well if there's nothing else guys we can get going for today uh everybody have a great great weekend uh hopefully those open houses or hopefully you have inventory to do open houses or you get something under contract and we'll see you again on tuesday don't forget to download that mobile app, get that connected at your open houses and uh, make sure you got that flow going right into your dashboard. Yep. Have See a good you guys. day, everybody.